right about that Durak. Is there anything there that might tell us where he is? Short. I immediately feel bad for calling Gunther a Durak, even though he made some terribly foolish mistakes. Now he's sick and he's out there all alone, and who knows what he's getting up to. We need to find him. That sounds like a reindeer, but it's... it's in pain. Oh no. Gunther was sick, starving. And a terrible shot. What if he wounded an animal without killing it? Or left a trap on the wrong trail? Please, find this reindeer and tell me I'm wrong. Reindeer are so to lemons. Seeing them wounded like this breaks my heart. Reindeer won't suffer anymore. Thank you. I've had to report the incident to the state veterinary and phytosanitary service. The local director, Dimi Pushkin, asked for your info, and being a state representative, I had to give it to him. Dimi may hit you up for jobs from time to time. I don't want you to get distracted, but keeping the state happy makes life easier for our expedition, so don't ignore him. The caliber of the bullet in that reindeer matches Gunther's rifle. That's not conclusive, but if Gunther is out there with a firearm, we have to find him before more animals get hurt, or before he hurts himself. Do you see anything around his campsite that would give us a lead? Those look like Gunther's boot prints. Let's find him. Tracks follow the riverbank, probably to collect the mud in their meat. I hope this isn't a dead end. Sorry, poor choice of words. Gunther isn't the only one desperate for a meal out here. The rivers flooded during the warmest spring on record last year. Then out of nowhere, the temperature dropped, and in a flash, the rivers froze early. It's too bad bears can't ice fish. Bad, 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 very bad. There is no blood, no wounds, which means this musk deer probably died from disease or poison. If this is where Gunther was shopping for meat, he's in worse trouble than we thought. Careful. This happened in another province, exactly like this. Don't freak out, but that time, it was anthrax. You should be safe as long as the temperature stays below zero. You don't touch these dead animals, and you don't eat the snow. That Durak Gunther probably made all these mistakes. No footprints to follow. My stomach is sinking just thinking about what you'll encounter at the end of the trail. Be careful. That tent belonged to Gunther. Can you read the note he left? Well, this is a punch in the gut. Gunther ate contaminated musk deer and died with symptoms that are associated with anthrax. Rest in peace. 
Hunter. So, I promise the rest of this expedition will not be so... grotesque, is the word, da? I spoke with Pushkin over at the Federal Department. A hazmat team is en route to clean up that riverbank as soon as the weather permits. There are water monitoring sites scattered throughout this region. Our biologist, Anatoly Barnyashev, wants you to check on those to make sure this anthrax contamination didn't spread. The areas where you will find these sites are marked on your hunter mate. occurrence in Medvieta Taiga these days. The permafrost, the icy layer just below the ground you're standing on, melts more and more every summer. And when it thaws, it lets out all kind of things that have been frozen and dormant for years and years. Things like fossils. Things like anthrax. This area is anthrax free. Thank you. There are two more of these stations in the area. Another clean test. No anthrax. These are very good results. Three water monitoring station test clean for anthrax. Thank you for being so professional despite, well, you know, infectious diseases and all that grim stuff. Frankly, I'm surprised you're able to handle such nasty business and stay so calm. You may be a person of few words, but your actions speak to your good character. Anatoly is like my number two at base camp. He may pester you for help here and there, but I trust he won't take advantage of you. Here is a more conventional job. Nanets report a wild boar in the area marked on your hunter mate. They overgrazed the land to the west and now they're migrating here. Unfortunately, they'll disrupt the mast deer's grazing and attract hungry lynxes. Thin the boar pack down by a few heads. That should create enough pressure to push them back home. <laughs> <laughs> 